，就温氏警方委托一家数据分析公司对市内嘅社会安全网进行审计。警方認為有關嘅報告反映，咁各級政府與社會服務機構成效不如預期，以及其資源錯配。鄭家榮報導。温市警察局長 Adam Palmer 今日表示，警方委託 Help Seeker 進行嘅審計報告反映，儘管各級政府為社會安全網投入大量嘅努力同財政資源，但市內嘅貧困同濫藥死亡問題日益嚴重，有關投資所得整體效果同協調存在疑問。However, despite all the money being spent, our research has found a lack of transparency, lack of coordination between agencies, and a lack of accountability from various levels of government to make sure the money is spent on the people who need it the most. We see silos and a piecemeal approach to a system-wide issue. 而 Adam Palmer 同時指出，各級政府同社會服務機構需要更多嘅協調、監督、問責制度，來改善温市中心東端嘅衞生同埋治安危機。There is no single solution to these complex issues, but we have identified a path forward. This path includes, number one, establishment of a steering committee made up of community partners and various levels of government to guide next steps and implement meaningful change. Number two, creation of a single centralized entity to oversee and coordinate services in the downtown east side. Number three, the identification and development of proven, effective, and evidence-based community partnerships. Number four, establishment of a consultative process with community partners to align and evaluate service delivery with key performance indicators and effective outcomes. 而 Help Seeker 嘅報告亦重點提及，每年有五十億元用於温市嘅社會安全網，相當於每日嘅一千四百萬元或每位温哥華居民七千二百元。另外有十五億用於支援無家可歸者同貧困人士嘅慈善機構同非牟利組織。該公司負責人就指各級政府出現資源錯配。You actually need to mine that data and actually figure out which end users are taking are tapping into these resources at a time. And do we have the right match between the resources that are available and what those end users need? I mean, clearly there's a mismatch. 但喺另一方面，卑斯公共安全及法務廳長范和富就反知有關報告存在誤導，強調省府一直有同社區夥伴作討論，以領導同協調社會服務。新時代電視鄭家榮報導。新新聞尋日發生致命交通意外，一名行人被一輛巴士撞到後喪生。陳漢新報導。事發喺尋日星期二晚上七點鐘左右，一名行人喺東八 Avenue 三百號路段被一架運輸聯線巴士撞到之後不治。新世聞警方見證調查意外嘅原因，呼籲公眾致電六零四五二五五四一一提供資料。新時代電視陳漢森報導。